Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to manage DNS records of a domain or website from Plesk panel. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel AccuWeb Hosting. Let's begin the tutorial. Here, we would like to give some important information regarding the Plesk. When you add a domain or subdomain or website, Plesk automatically create a DNS zone in accordance with the settings configured by your service provider. The domain names or websites should work fine with the automatic configuration. However, if you want to add or remove records of the domain or website, you need to perform custom modification in the DNS settings. First of all, you need to log in into your Plesk control panel. Here, we have login into our Plesk control panel. While creating this video, we have a Plesk Obsidian version. Go to the upper left side of the screen and click on the Websites and Domains option. Once you click on it, you will see all the domains, websites, and subdomains that you have created under Websites and Domains. Select the domain name or website of which you want to manage DNS records. Here, we have selected AccuWebTraining.com as an example. Locate DNS settings and click on it. Once you click on it, a new window will be opened with the name DNS settings for your website. Click on the DNS tab. Here, you can see the records which you have added for your website or domain. To add a new record, click on the Add Record button. By clicking on it, a new window will be opened with the name Add a Resource Record to the Zone. In the Record Type field, you need to select the record which you want to add from the drop down list. For example, if you want to add a record for the subdomain nick.accuwebtraining.com, you need to select a record from the draw. P down. In the domain name field, you need to enter the website name or subdomain name. Here, we have entered Nick as an example. In the TTL field, you need to enter the value which you want to set. TTL is a value in a DNS record that determines how long it will take any change you make now to go into effect. The recommend TTL value is 3600. Here, we have entered TTL value 3600 as an example. In the IP address field, you need to enter the IP address of the server where your website is hosted or resolved. Here, we have entered this IP address as an example. After then, you need to click on the OK button to save the changes in the DNS record. Once you click on the OK button, you will get a notification on the screen that the changes you made to DNS records are not yet saved. The changes are marked in the list of records. Click on the Update button to apply the changes to the DNS zone. Click on the Revert button to cancel the changes. Here, we are going to click on the Update button because we want to add the record.
By clicking on the update button, the record will be added in the DNS server. And you will get a message on the screen that the changes made to DNS records were successfully saved. You can see that the subdomain nick.acuwebtraining.com is successfully added in the DNS zone. Please be informed that DNS changes may take 12 to 24 hours to propagate around the world. Once the propagation is completed, the website or subdomain will be started to point to your hosting server. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to manage DNS records of a domain or website from Plesk panel. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel Accu Web Hosting where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching. Let's quickly sum up the context.